All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to hook up this vessel sink, what I'm going to do to secure it because the base, the way it's designed, is not going to be secure. This is going to be balancing on this little base. And uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to support it. And I'll also be hooking up the drainage to the P-trap and all that. So, no further ado, let's do this. Okay, now, I'm getting set up here. All right, bear with me. And these furniture leg carpet pad protectors doing up here. Well, I'm sure you have that figured out. I'm going to use it to support my sink because as you see, it's rectangle. All right. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the drain, this pop-up drain. See, I have this rubber seal here. They look like this. All right. I'm going to put one that goes down into the glass where it makes contact. I happen to have an extra, so I'm going to put it on the bottom of this, okay? And that will meet up here on the bottom here. Now, what I've also done is you it comes with this rubber seal on the bottom. All right, here's this rubber seal. So you put that in. I put some silicone on this to hold it and set it um, as well. Okay, so I'm going to put place this right over the center of this hole. All right. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run this through my sink. All right. So I am going to bring this around so you can see what I'm doing next. Okay, now, so, as you see, I'm going to take this, I'm just going to place it through, all right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll be screwing on the down part of the brain here, all right, which screws on here. This looks like it might be a little too small, but actually it's perfect, okay? This also has a rubber seal in it, or it would leak. If you leave out this seal right here, okay, it will leak. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Don't want to drop it. All right. Just because you don't want things to get damaged. And I'm making this good and firm. Not overly tight. Just good and firm. All right. That's good and firm. Okay. Now, this is still loose because it's just sitting in the hole. Next. We're going to take. We're going to put this here. And then this is going to. That's going to go next. Okay. I got ahead of myself. Look at that. Got ahead of myself. So you don't want to do that either. <laughs> All right. So this. Cannot go on until you run it through. All right. But now you know what not to do. Learn from my errors here, getting in a hurry. So don't get in a hurry when you do this. Now, if I could pause it and edit this out, I would. But nonetheless, it is what it is. This is a home show, and you get it. Live, unedited, in the raw. 
All right, so here we go. And these are glass. You do not want to bang them around. Okay. So, we're going to, I'm going to bring these up here. But as you see, it's about the same. Eyeballing that. It looks really good. Okay. And I'm just going to carefully run that through. That sound was the threads running alongside of the base. All right. Now, I'm going to show you what this looks like underneath. All right. So, let's get, see what it looks like under the bottom. Because we have those supports, see. Now, it's, they're not 100%. They are supporting it. Okay. And as you see, there's a slight gap. There's another slight gap on the side. I don't know if you can see it or not. But there is a slight gap here. All right. Now, there's your gap. Now you can see it. All right. But when I tighten it down, it will secure the bottom of this. Okay. Because I want to show you with it loose. All right. If you were to push over here, it would be tipping. Or over here because it's just sitting on that base okay and you anchor it down and it's kind of pivoting and all the pressure you could also crack your bowl over time this is about three quarters of an inch thick here on the edge okay let me show you this edge up close and personal all right it's about three quarters of an inch let's uh, get the tape on here so you can see all right, let's zoom in. All right, and we have looks like it's about roughly a half inch. All right, just look wider. All right, optical illusion here. All right, but so you don't you can break it. That's my point. Okay, you can break this. All right, so now that we have that there, the next thing I'm going to do is now I'm going to go on the bottom side. I'm going to put on the nut and this plastic washer. Okay. They do have this, that's a rubber seal. And uh, I'm gonna put this at the bottom. All right. I also have another video on this. I've done it a little different. I'm kind of customizing this this time around. And having some of these extra parts. Because the factory, I mean, the, what you get, what came with these sinks, I, like they came with these, this type of a pop-up drain, which doesn't go with the hardware. Because this is an extended pop-up drink sink drain, all right? That's why it was extra long. This is a standard pop-up sink drain okay and these are short okay the threading on this is only three inches okay a little little less about three and uh, about three and seven eighths roughly okay so these are real short and I haven't found where you can use these unless you grind out the bottom or you make your thin set thinner. Um, 
but I don't like that. So I had to buy the extended thread pop-up drain, okay? And then you're, you get your down drain downspout with that as well, which screws right here on the bottom. All right. So I have extra parts, and so I'm modifying it and making it better. All right, so now let's get underneath here. Let's get it underneath where you can see what's going on. Okay. All right, now. Looks like I'm gonna have to lower this a bit so you get a better angle. So bear with me as I'm adjusting. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support and your time. Okay. Now you can see the threads. Okay, and uh, if I can, I'll get a little more light on the subject. All right, now. So, I'm going to make another, this is really bad, this is bad. All right, this is really bad. Okay. All right, there we go. Now, I'm going to take this and take the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rubber, I'm going to put, I'm going to reverse it, so it's going to go up this way. Sometimes it helps if you kind of thread it on. Kind of work it as you go. Pushing up on it. I'm holding down on the threads. All right. And I'm also pulling it up with my fingers up here. Okay. So a combination of spitting it up the threads and pushing it up as you go. Okay. Now. <sighs> oh boy. This is hilarious. I just really messed up. Now it looks like I don't know what I'm doing. It's a test. <laughs> all right, now, so this is what you don't do. All right, because if you do it like this, you don't know what you're doing. Because you just messed up. Okay? <laughs> and you gonna have a leaky or a, it'll it'll be secure but it's not gonna be right and you won't get the nut tightened down as tight as you need it and it's will it work yes but somebody's gonna come along and see you do something like this and they'll think you don't know what you're doing
because you don't if you leave it like this, okay? So do not do this. Do not do that. All right, so let me show you where, if you do it that way, where you went wrong. All right, now, so let me show you. <laughs> uh, all right, this goes. On the bottom. All right, goes to the bottom of your sink. So we're going to flip this over. Okay. We're going to flip this over. Now. And we're going to take this. We're going to thread this push and turn, thread it on, work it on here, work it around. All right, just now. This is what the doctor ordered. Now we're now we're in like Flynn. Now we got it dialed in. All right. Now this is a modification. All right. Now they want you to use that little rubber seal as a base underneath the drain. Well, I don't like that. It's not thick enough. It's not, it's not going to secure it as well. Um, I, I don't think it'll last for years and years to come. So instead of using this under the drain here, back here up against the glass, I put this the same rubber seal under here. All right, just a better setup. And uh, it'll last for years to come. But very few companies or people care about things lasting for years to come anymore, unfortunately. All right, I'm getting these supports set back up. Okay. Now, we'll be ready to go in a minute. All right, now we're set up properly, all right? Now, that is the ticket right there. Okay, let me show you the top side. All right, now that's set up. Let me show you. It's sitting there nice, it's seated. Real nice in there, down in here. All right, it's, you can see it all the way around. Okay. It's seated nice and flush all the way around. Okay, now we're gonna go in to the bottom here. And I'll get this put in place like it's supposed to be. All right. So let's get this set back here a bit. Let's get this dropped down here. And you can see and what's going on on the inside. All right. Let's get this set up. There you go. Now you got a nice... get this now let me get this up here you can see all right okay now
All right, now let's get this dialed in. In light flame, dialed in. All right, now put that up there. This is the nut. Okay. I'm going to hold this at the top to hold it secure so it doesn't move around. Okay, Billy B. How's we doing, Billy B? Australia. Billy B is in Australia. Dennis from RPM, reviewing, playing, and more. RPM. That's reviewing, playing, and more. RPM. Dennis has computer repair and software and gaming. Quite a channel. We have Kenneth, the famous Kentucky fan, St. Otto, St. Otto, that's, or St. Enterprises, that's Victor St. St. Otto Prizes, Enterprise, St. Enterprises. All right, I'm holding this on the top. I'm going to have to tighten this up more with the wrench carefully. You want this good and snug. All right. Next. All right. And as you see, it's good and snug up there. All right. So the next thing we're going to do. Now we're going to have to bring this over. May have to make some adjustments to get this drainage <laughs> to get the P trap dialed in, set up. So we'll have to see what we're gonna have to do with that. But we're not ready. We gotta put on this downpipe extension right here. All right, with that good and snug. Now I may have to put this down pipe in the P trap first and then get it set up. All right. But we want to put this nut up there first and then the seal. That will hold this nut up in place. All right. Now, if I can loosen this back here. All right. Got a nut right here that I have to loosen up. Okay. Get this adjusted. Okay, there we go. And then this nut right there. Get that loosened. I may have to use a wrench to loosen this. I 
Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna need a wrench to loosen that up. But I'm gonna have to slide this this slide this pipe out. That way it will bring this P trap further out where it should connect. And if not, then I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna have to do in order to get it to meet up with this. I may have to use some custom special piping or flex tube, an accordion type tube to bring the connection over, but it should reach, all right? Um, the other thing is my, my screws, my all threads were too short. Um, for my faucet, okay, my faucet, the screws, the all threads that came with it were too short, okay, so I needed a custom length, I needed a longer length, all right, so I went to McMaster Car, C-A-R-R, that's Mick Master hyphen car C A R R dot com and I ordered these all threads okay and in my last video I give you the dimensions and that was on it all right and the dimensions are a M6 1.0 millimeters all right, and that's an all thread, that's stainless steel, all right, so you want to get an M6.10 millimeter of these threads, you want to get the same for the all thread, and you want to get about a 400 millimeter in length on the all thread, all right, for these vessel sink faucets. All right, and so that is what we're looking at there. All right, the M6 is the threading. Okay, let me see if I can get make that clear. Threading's not getting any clear. Anyways, it's a real fine thread. All right. So the others were too short. And so I had to get a, 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 a one foot because I needed four of these. And I needed them three inches long. So I got a one foot all thread and uh, cut them to fit. All right. In my last video, I on. Installing this vessel sink is what I showed you. All right. Now. We have our sink, our vessel sink hole there. For the drain, for the drain, for the faucet. All right. Now, let's put this down in here. All right. Now, there's a little bit of adjustment here. Okay. Now, there we have that. All right, let's get the overview. How nice is that? Pretty sweet. All right. Let's see, we're still under construction here. This just keeps it real. This should be edited out. Nonetheless. All right, this keeps it real. Now I got to tighten that down. Now I made a bracket for it. 
Okay, and I'll show you what I made to support the sink faucet. Okay, this goes underneath. This is really rough, but that's like a washer, okay? And the all threads, the bolts go down through here. All right. And then here's the nuts for it. Okay. I'm not sure who's here. Thanks for being here. Is that uh ARG? How's it going, my friend? How's it going, bro? I have to holler at you, give you a call. If I can't get this, if I can't get this in the viewer. right angle on it so we'll see here you can see what I'm doing I've got a feel under here for the I'm gonna have to get underneath there if I can reach those all threads my bolts this in place anyway okay now ah The beauty of not having someone videotaping you and having to do this yourself. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work. So, I'm just going to have to do this manually. Hey there, boy. Yeah. Yeah, that's my dog. That's my dog. That's redemption. Yeah, yeah, getting old, yeah, younger. All right, okay. He's gonna lay down where I went to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we should be able to see something. I don't know what, but to see something. Ugh. Okay, now. Yeah, now you can see. Put the light on the threads down. I'm gonna have to adjust the top. I got to put a, a rubber washer underneath the base of that that I need to put in there. All right. So let's go up top and do that. And then we can get the anchor, get it anchored down, get it anchored down. All right, I believe this is it right here. I believe this. Let's see. Let's see if this is a ticket. Is that the ticket right there? Eh, it looks a little small. Looking a tad small. Just a tad or two. Just a tad or two. All right, so what I'm gonna do, all right, I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. 
I am going to take some of this 100% silicone and I'm going to run a bead right around there and I'm going to let it just sit. Okay. Because I don't like it. That's just, that's going to fall through. Just a, yeah, bad design. That's just a little too small, a little too big. All right. Um, yeah, that doesn't work. But we got it handled. We're going to get a bead of silicone on the end of this right here. And uh, we're going to get it fixed up. So with no further ado, let's do this. Looks like a little rubber ring that fits here too. I can see the O-ring. Looks like I'm just going to create my own seal here. Um, I'm going to, uh, here, let's turn this camera around. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and run a bead here where it's going to be nice and neat and clean and uh, professional. Um, but I can't do that and hold that camera, that's for sure. So we are going to. Get this dialed in here. All right, now. Nice speed. Going. Much better. All right, let me show you. I got a little bit of cleaning up here to do. A little bit of cleaning up. And if I was smart, I'd have on some rubber gloves and I'd get this on my hands. But not a big deal. Get your finger wet, a little saliva. And then just kind of go around it and the saliva prevents it from sticking to your fingers. Okay, and just go all the way around on this outer edge, pushing it inward. And there you have it. All right, that will give me a nice seal. It takes about a half hour for this stuff to dry. Be fear fully cured in 24. So it depends on what you're looking for. I will probably just let this dry while I'm working on everything else. And depending on how it feels when I'm ready to install it, will depend on if I let it sit till tomorrow or go ahead and put it in. So I'm going to set this to the side now. All right. And uh, I need to get a wrench. So I can dry out, G. Although it goes out mud, you keep you kind of stuck where you're at. Guess that's what they mean if the if the creek don't rise. <laughs> What's that saying? The Lord willing and the creek don't rise or something like that. So I don't want to booger it up the pump. 
pipe wrench. That's for sure. Or the vice grips or the channel locks. So I'm thinking this uh, crescent wrench is going to be the ticket. The golden ticket. So we're going to have to see. Not now, but right now. How, how, how. Brown cow. Yes. Alright, All right. so we're going to have to put this in vertical mode and see what happens. Alright, now. Let's see. What we can see here, it doesn't want to tip over backwards, that is. Aha! That don't show you nothing either. Well, maybe, 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 let's see, can't see nothing. Okay. There we go. That took a minute to get her dialed in. All right, now. That's what I was afraid of. She's not going to open enough. All right. Now, so I'm going to have to very carefully work this other one. But I want to put some tape on my channel locks. I'm going to have to put some tape on it so that I don't bugger up the, the nut. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to Put some tape on my channel locks. Okay, on these grabbers here, on the teeth here. Whatever they're called, I'm going to put some tape on them. All right. Now, I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to wrap some tape around it all the way around give it that extra protection that way i reinsure it not getting my nut not getting scratched up because i don't want the nut to end up looking ugly and getting damaged you know this is new we want it to look new we don't want it to look like it's old when we're done we want it to be pristine and look as perfect as possible when we get through with this process all right 
So here we have it. I've wrapped it around. I guess this should make a good short. Uh, all right. Now. Yeah, to open these up even more. It's not that big of an opening of a nut. But I want it to be comfortably on here. from the underneath underside all right Like it should get it the tad. Just, uh, <sighs> All right, now. about where we want it you don't want to cinch this down and over tighten it you do want it good and snug that's for sure good and snug good and snug that's what you want all right. This wrench. <clears throat> Okay, it's good and snug. All right. Now let's go to the top side. All right, now let's take a look at this from the top. Side. Let's let's check this out. Let's turn this around. Okay, you see that? It's okay. You can see that that ring is nice. It's fitted really nice. It's seated well. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, you can see it's 
fitted really well all the way around. Okay. So now the next thing to do is I'm going to work on that it loosened the, the nut here for the P-trap right back here. Loosen that. Okay. So let's loosen that and uh, see where it's all at. Okay. Sorry for the unprofessional. I don't know if I'm even going to keep the video up. I don't even know. This is absolutely terrible. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to loosen that nut right there. Okay. These, this. It should get around there and get that loosened. Oh, right, now I got off the tape. The tape is causing my wrench not to grip on that plastic so now I'm going to take off the tape okay so as I'm getting off this tape that's one thing about live you can't edit out this stuff Something that YouTube needs to change, at least after the live stream, where you could go in and edit your live streams, just like you could a regular video. So you remove all the dead time and all the junk. At least we should be able to have that option. That would be good. Maybe in the future. Now, if the pipe isn't too short, I'll be able to bring this out if it's not glued in place. <laughs> I'll be able to bring this out and then bring this over and uh, get that drain from the sink to a downspout. I'm afraid this might be glued in and I hope not. This could be glued in, which will present another issue. Hopefully it's not glued in. Hopefully I can just work this seal out of here and uh, it will move. Okay, I got this seal back out of the way, but I'm afraid. The way it's acting, somebody glued this in here. But we're gonna soon see it did move a little bit. No, maybe not. Maybe it's just got crud in there preventing it from coming out now like I was saying if I could move this forward 
All right. And I can spin this over and get them to line up and uh, make that connection. All right, looks like it's gonna line right up here. Let me show you. Let me show you right here. All right, now it's lined up. Okay, I just need to make finish making that connection and we'll be good. All right. Okay, now. It's gonna have to get, let's see. This is, this is a very bad live stream. I'm so frustrated with it. Okay, so let me show you this. This is a Kingly, all right, but it, it, we have a 12 inch extension tube for sinks, all right? It's an inch and a half inlet, 12 inch in length. Slip joint, all right? Slip joint connection. Now let me show you how this works. Now this is extra long, so I'm gonna have to custom cut this, okay? Because this is gonna be too long. But I'm gonna show you how it works, okay? We're gonna get this bag open. Let me get this out. Okay. You always want to put the nut on first. Threads facing you. Then you put on the seal. Okay. Now I'm going to have to cut this. But I want to show you how this is going to work. All right. You see this section right here. All right. It comes down. It has a stop. That goes over. The pipe, the down pipe. The threads, that cap, that nut threads here on these threads, okay? Then this piece will go down into this section right here. And you can, do, it doesn't have to stop here. It can come anywhere in here, all right? And that's for adjustment. That's so that if you need to raise it up a little bit or down a little bit, you have room here to make an adjustment. So you want this pipe cut so that it's halfway, you know, so you have about an inch, this half inch to play with either way up or down. All right. And same with the top. It's because sometimes you need to make those adjustments where you need it longer. Um, or you maybe need to make it a little shorter, just depending. Uh, so you want to give yourself a little, about a half inch room of play either way is a good rule of thumb. All right, now, but I'm in, I want to see why this was so hard. What made it so difficult and it still has, whoa. That is concrete from when I took out the, that's what's holding it. It's the concrete, the thin set from when I took out the K 
countertop that was here to begin with, the, the tile. So good thing I'm doing this. Just about got it. Put this down here. Okay, I come from the P trap itself. Doing this with one hand, it wants to bind. So let's uh, reverse this so I can get both hands on it. Okay. Now I can get this out of here. There you go. Wow. Plus there's other debris coming out as well. Um. So we have a whole combination of crud coming out of here. All right, now I can get rid of this. Well, that was necessary. That was very necessary. Okay. Don't leave any rock unturned. Now we can find out where the things are. Okay. Now, that means that this should now go back in here without a problem. All right. Yeah. Okay. Much easier. Much easier. Now we're about right here where we need to be. Right here. Let's get this turned around. Okay. So as I push this back, it will adjust. So I know where my pipes need to be right here, and that looks pretty good. All right, cool. That's about perfect. That eyeballs really well. All right, so that's where I need to be. Now I can tighten this up. I'm going to push this seal back in there. Okay. I'm going to get this good and snug. And tight is good. All right. 
show you what this looks like from this angle here. See, that's looks like it's forward, but it's not. Well, it is slightly. All right, so I'm gonna have to come out just a little bit more. Yeah. All right. Okay, it's got to come forward. All right. Now. Get that adjusted just right, you see here, and that'll be just fine. Now, what I'll be doing is I'll be taking this tube. All right, I'll be measuring it and then cutting the length off of this. Okay, this will go up. The pipe, I want to bring it about two thirds of the way down. I'm going to cut this down here so that it goes in the next one that looks like this, about two thirds of the way up, halfway up, to have some adjustment and uh, call it a day. It'll be all fixed. I'll show you what that's going to look like when I get to it. So, this is part one. I'll be doing the installing of the faucet and uh, finishing this as well. That'll be part two. So like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. It's a win, win, win. Sorry for this terrible live stream as far as all the bouncing around and, you know, it's, it's frustrating for me. When I have somebody videotaping, it's a game changer. But can't always have that. And so it is what it is. Like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Have any suggestions, I'm all ears. So take care. God bless. Bye for now and never give up. Because there's always a way. Always. So never give up. God bless. Bye for now. Bye.